Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got two groups of shapes here. And as you can see, we do need a scroll. So sometimes uh, on these tests, you're going to find that they're kind of long. So make sure you scroll all the way down to the very bottom to make sure you look at all answer selections before you try to answer the question. So we just need a true statement. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my graph draw feature. I'm going to hit that button on the top right to make it big. And I'm going to increase the transparency. Now here's the nice thing. So as I draw on this, right, I could I could draw something to kind of circle that. I can still, you notice this doesn't fill up the whole page. This still lets me scroll my problem up and down. So it's nice that I can still see my problem behind this. Obviously that circle doesn't travel with it because that circle is on the graph paper which is sitting on top of the problem. So that's going to be kind of strange. But I can still use my uh, scroll bar on the right to scroll up and down to see everything with my graph paper open. So that's kind of a nice feature. All right. So let's just take a look at what we have here. Looks like we've got some three dimensional shapes in both groups. And let's see. All the shapes in group one are rectangular prisms. Okay. So uh, rectangular prisms. All right. So what do we know about rectangular prisms? Hmm. All right, so prisms, right? That's a three-dimensional shape. Uh, rectangular prism is typically kind of looks something like this, right? But they can be kind of several different shapes. What we know about rectangular prisms uh, is that they have two bases, right? So, so they've got two bases uh, that are connected by rectangles. That's just the definition of a prism uh, by rectangles. So when you have a rectangular prism, then these two bases have to be themselves rectangular. So two rectangular prisms or two rectangular bases connected by rectangles. So let's take a look at what we've got. And you see my, my problem, my words kind of come with me here. Uh, so this is a, it's a cube. But you know what? That is also a rectangular prism because uh, all squares are rectangles. Uh, and it does kind of look a little bit like a rectangular prism. It doesn't quite so much look cube-like. It looks a little bit stretched out side to side. But a cube is a, is a type of rectangular prism. It's a special rectangular prism, just like a square is a special type of rectangle. This is definitely a rectangular prism over here. But I don't think this is. Look, triangular bases. So this is a triangular prism, not a rectangular prism. All right, so we know a little bit more about prisms, but A is incorrect because that middle one is a triangular prism. All right, uh, let's check number two. All shapes in group one are polygons. Okay, so polygons. So let me see, what is a polygon? Well, a polygon is uh, got straight sides and it is closed not open oh you know what though here's another thing about polygons they're two-dimensional shapes these are all three-dimensional shapes so that is not going to work so let's reset that let's look at numbers at c all groups and shapes in group two are spheres no none of these are spheres spheres are kind of balls kind of like this so let's hope it's D. All the shapes are cylinders. Yes, yeah, cylinders are kind of like rectangular prism, prisms, except they've got circles. They're kind of stretched out. That's a really short, fat one. This is a slanted cylinder, but it still has two circular bases connected by a curved um, surface here. So yeah, our answer here is going to be D.